Hello. Today we're going to talk about paragraph formatting. So much of the paragraph formatting that you might want to do is available right here. Paragraph formatting is one of those things which if you've used Word before, chances are you know a little bit about it. Whether it's you've double spaced an essay or something like or made a bolded list. It's one of the it's some common operations in here and some less common ones as well. So let's talk about the first thing. So I've got my uh, I've got three paragraphs here. I'm going to select those. And one of the things that uh, you know, if you're a student or something, you might be wanting to double space your essays. A lot of ways to do that. Um, probably the most straightforward way to double space or triple space or whatever you want to do is this button right here. It's kind of a weird one. I mean, I guess that's what it looks like it does. There's double space. There's triple space. I don't know why you would ever triple space, but it's kind of nice to see that there's a button there, superficial button. Also note that 1.15, that's just supposed to be the best, right? That's a, that's a compromise between readability and not taking up twice as much space as you need. Now, a lot of people set the paragraph spacing through here. And you can do all the same things here. Notice that 1.15 isn't one of these options. You're free to type in whatever you want right here. If you want to do 1.25, knock yourself out. You can also right click on a paragraph and you head into here and guess what? That is another uh, link to the same paragraph dialog box that we were looking at before. Paragraph dialog box is so important that it also lives under the page layout tab. Right? I just showed you three pretty quick ways to get to that dialog box. And if you are using Word, you should be using the paragraph dialog box. Now, it's entirely possible that the normal style is going to meet all your needs, but if it doesn't, uh, it's not too far away. So these are your just alignment options. This one is justify. Some people manage to look past that, right? Even borders. I don't know why you would put par uh, borders around your paragraphs, but you could. Um, let's go into the dialog box and look at a few of the more interesting points. So this stuff is all just the kind of thing that we've already talked about. Um, indentation. Let's look at. Uh, this is probably better for another time. I would like to point out special indents. There's first line and there's hanging. I'll show you what this does. First line just indents the paragraph. It's kind of like pressing tab. You can increase that, and in which case it's not so much like pressing tab. The other strange thing that you can do here is hanging. Hanging is an interesting one. You're probably not going to see a lot of that, but the one place where you will see hanging is uh, in a work cited. So if you're ever wondering where that lives, it lives right here, and it's, and it's kind of right in front of your face, but also hiding a little bit. Now, the most interesting thing to talk about when we're talking about paragraph properties is a s paragraph spacing. So everybody knows about line spacing. Whether you mess with it or not, I don't know, but, but you're aware of it. My favorite way to work with paragraph spacing is under the page layout tab because it's superficial right here. So when I'm messing around with indents or spacing, I just go to the page layout tab because it's nice and this is a nice visual approach. So let's mess around with this paragraph. So notice it's 10 point spacing after and zero before. I have no idea why it is. You just have defaults. On the note of defaults, if you spin it down enough, it goes to auto. What's auto, right? Is it 10? Is it 12? Is it zero? I don't know what it is. Uh, and auto probably works if you're just typing out something, but uh, oftentimes if you have extra space in your document and you can't figure out how to get rid of it, usually the answer is get rid of that auto because oftentimes it's there. And auto, you have to spin it up to zero, which is kind of weird. So let's look at the effects. If I start spinning this up, you see how this paragraph, paragraph number two, is getting further away from paragraph number three. It's because it's putting space before the paragraph. All right? And even if I spin it all the way down, all the way down to zero, it, there's not zero because it's kind of interesting. But if this is zero above, but this has ten point after, right? Then the ten wins. It's the greater of the two numbers. So if this paragraph is ten point after, and this one is zero before, kind of doesn't matter. Um, so let's put some after. You might be wondering what's the most appropriate spacing before or after. I don't know the answer to that question. Probably auto if you're just writing an essay, but if you're trying to put together a poster or you're really just trying to fit things onto a page, I want you to have a look at the paragraph spacing because that can be a source of maybe, I don't know, wasted inch, half inch uh, on a given sheet of paper. So there's a whole lot more to paragraph styles. I just talked about the common ones. There's a whole set of goodies in here, which I'll talk about in another video. So thanks for watching.